One of the outstanding features of the Forrester Coax Press is its ability to handle different size cases uh, without having to change shell holders using the same shell holding uh, setup. To change out the, the, the jaws, you remove these two screws, take the entire assembly off, flip the jaws, put them back on, screw it back down. Doesn't sound too hard, except there's a couple of springs in here that are going to give you fits if you try to take it off the way it is right now. And here's the trick. What you want to do is raise it up to the point that the jaws come off of this spear-shaped spreader and close. So they're no longer under a lot of spring tension. When, when they're up to here, everything's good. The problem is, how do you make it stay there? One easy way to make it stay there is just simply raise it up, take something like a 9 millimeter case, and put it in place, and it'll stay there. Just nothing more than that. That do you have a nine millimeter? Fine, use a 45. It just makes it a little bit higher. But the point is, you've got to get it to the point where those jaws are no longer under a lot of tension. I actually use a different method. I keep a small paintbrush around my bench, and I use it to brush away powder and things like that. But it turns out the little wooden handle is a perfect fit right there. The wood is soft and it won't scratch the metal. It digs in just enough so it won't accidentally come out. Works perfectly. So now with the, the press raised a little bit, the jaws have lots of play in them and they're not uh, so tight that the springs will create problems. Step one, loosen both of the screws and then completely remove the one that's nearest to you over here. The other one will hold everything down. Now what you want to do at this point is keep your fingers on it. You don't have to have a lot of pressure, just enough to... And let's see, I'll try to not block your view too much here, but you know obviously what I'm doing is removing a screw with an Allen wrench. Alright, now this is the important part. Take everything off. You want to get this metal, blue, steel wear plate, everything down to the cast iron metal, and keep it together as a sandwich, all right? And you're going to turn it over. Actually, I turn it over this way. Turn it over so that the round edge is toward the front. And then you put it over here on your workbench. Set it on the workbench like that. You got the two screws over here. This little blue plate, see, is holding the jaws down. And there's a couple of springs, which you can see toward the rear. And right now, they're under a little bit of tension, not too much. Okay, I'll take that one out, and I'll take this one out. Now, you don't want to change the jaws by doing that. Do not do that. What you want to do is turn them, turn them around like that, and drop it back in place. Now, I find it works best to remove the spring. Yeah. Okay, take this jaw, and they've got S's on one end to indicate the small, so you just get it together. All right, turn it around, put it in place. And then you can put a little forward pressure and drop that down. Then take your metal steel wear plate, put on top of it, slide it in place and cover it up. And that's that. Now you pick up the whole thing and here's what you want to look for. If you look Oh, can we see this? Let's get some more light here. Okay. If we look down in here, we see nothing on this side. On this side, however, when we look down in there, we see the springs. We 
you see what I'm saying? The little springs in there. Those springs go to the back. They go to the back side of the press. So when we put it in place, we want it like that. We'll have the rounded edge. The rounded edge of the wear plate will be toward the front. The springs will be back here at the back. And that's because we want the springs where the uh, spreader punch comes through. That's important. Okay, kind of got our holes lined up a little bit. It's not super critical. Here we go. I'm operating a camera, moving it around in here on a tripod, and I'm still holding on to these things, and they haven't jumped apart yet. So, you know, don't, don't be so intimidated by this thing. What you want to do is more or less get that center hole lined up. Come in here with this one right here and do, oh yeah, usually it works flawlessly the first time. Of course, we're on TV and it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's right there, there it is. All right, and just run it in there with your fingers. Take your little Allen wrench and give it a twist or two. And that's it, you're good. Now it's not going anywhere, so you've got plenty of time get some better light on here. Got plenty of time then to leisurely put the other one in place, get it started, and then just simply spin it down with the lovely little Allen wrench. Okay, don't get it real tight at this point. Okay, what you want to do now, pull out your brush or your bullet or whatever you had down there at the bottom, your shell case, and let it all the way down so that the spreader comes in here and spreads the jaws do it a couple of times, let the, let the thing kind of find its own natural perfect center, and then snug them, and you're done. Thank you, Forrester.